Hey, good morning, Flair family. How we doing? Happy Monday, the 23rd of December. We're two days away from Santa Claus coming to town, and I am excited about that. Um, quick video. Uh, first of all, Atlas FTSO. Atlas FTSO, uh, the old F agent pool <coughs> is in liquidation. Um, there is still, uh, looks like they got most of it out of there, but there's still like 3.36 million SGB or $30,000 in collateral that's still sitting in this old vault. You need to get your, if you're, if you're, if you're um, providing collateral to this old Atlas TSO that's in liquidation, you need to take your money out of that um, because they have a new one. And in fact, the new one has some FXRP to be minted. Oh, it's gone now. I was quick. I went quick. Um, they had some uh, XRP to be minted, but that went quick. That was quick. That was literally like maybe 20 minutes ago or so. There was some uh, there was some lots to mint from their new one. But anyway, uh, if you are if you are providing collateral to the Atlas TSO that ends in C5CCD, you need to take it out of there. And the new one has has uh, has been set up. They've got forty thousand in USDX. They've got some SGB collateral as well. I mean, there's almost uh, 93 grand in uh, SGB collateral from uh, from everybody total. So really good right now. Um, collateral ratio at 163. Um, so they're back online to uh, for you to provide collateral too. Um, I wanted to do some claiming of rewards. You can see I've got 76 cents in rewards. Um, total so far, I've got 242. Uh, earned to date, I got $3.16. Now, we'll do some real quick math. It's not rocket science math, um, but just some real quick back of the envelope math in terms of what type of return on that little investment. So I think you saw I put in about, about $1,700 uh, earned $3.16 to date. It's probably been a little over a week. That's point, that's 0.18%, point 0.18%. So it's been about a week. So I'm just going to take it over 52 weeks. That's going to come up with about a 9%, 9.66% 9 yield. That's what the interest rate is. 9.66% is what the yield is on providing collateral to the collateral pool. Now that's just quick math, um, nothing real extensive, um, just to kind of get an idea of what, you know, what type of ROI I was getting off of providing these um, these SGBs to the collateral pool. About 9%, 9%, 10% for the year. It's not bad. Um, I'll take that because otherwise it would just be sitting in my wallet doing nothing. So anyway, uh, claim rewards. I'm going to go and I'm going to go ahead and claim these guys. Um, just going to do it just in case anyone who hasn't seen a previous video is wondering how to do it. Um, simply go back to my Bifrost wallet now where I can approve the transaction. And that was a pretty good one. I got 0.2 FXRP out of that one. That was good. Um, so, all right. And then we've got this one here, which is 0.09. Let's go ahead and claim that. We'll do the max on that one. And, you know, in case you didn't know, I'm, I'm a hodler. So I'm stacking this FXRP. Um, I want to be in a position to where I'm building up uh, free crypto um, from utilizing my SGB and my FLR. So uh, I'm pretty much a hodler. Uh, oops, let's back out of that one. I want to withdraw. I want to claim. Max claim. All right. So these have been pretty good pools. Um, 75 cents or so. Um, and I think I claimed this about a day, a little over a day ago. So not not bad. Not bad at all. I really think collateral is the move, guys. I think collateral is the move. I think providing collateral seems to be a pretty good move. Now, remember, you know, it's risky. You could lose your money. Um, it's important to identify that and provide that distinction. So everyone knows you could lose your money, but I'm up to 1.46 lots. I got 1.46 XRP 
um, three dollars and sixteen cents on my uh, what was seventeen hundred. Of course, the market's pulled back a little bit. Uh, I am looking to accumulate more SGB on this pullback um, because I don't expect it to stay around double double zero eight for too long. So um, anyway, so here's what we've got. We've got uh, we've claimed our rewards. Um, you go to the mint tab, it shows you what your positions are on each of these. So I've got 10 XRP, no USDX, and then the pools. The pools look good. Atlas TSO is there at a 1.62 collateral ratio. Norton is pretty low, but I only have 10 bucks uh, or 10 SGB in that one. So I'm not too worried about that one. Uh, but the rest of these look pretty good in terms of their collateral ratio. Pay attention to that. This is the overall collateral ratio. This shows you your position and your share, which I'm at 0 0.06, 0 0.05, 0 0.11, 0 0.01 respectively. And then it shows you your claimable and total rewards, which we've already done that. Atlas TSO is now online. And um, I think that's about it, guys. I just wanted to share that with you real quick. Um, love the dashboard. Uh, really like the dashboard big time um, that Flair has put together. So it's good stuff. Uh, I think that's it. So once you get FXRP, uh, you can hodl it. You can go to Enosis or you can go to Blaze Swap. Uh, let's go over to Blaze Swap. You can go to Blaze Swap and we're on Costin. And you're able to swap your XRP out for something if you want it to, right? You're also able to create a pool, which still waiting for them to put it up here to say, you know, that we can we can create this pool and start getting some R flare incentives. Um, that's why I haven't done it yet here on Blaze Swap. Um, if I do any type of LP for uh, R flare incentives, I would do it on Blaze Swap myself uh, as opposed to Enosis. Um, but I probably will not be doing that because I am a hodler. I'm going to probably hodl onto this FXRP until I can lend it out and earn more yield on it. Um, you know, there'll be other incentives that are out there for for lending and things of that nature. So anyway, um, yeah, guys, I think that's it. Uh, I don't want it to be a long video. I will uh, I'll tap out. Uh, I'll tap out here on this one here. We, it's all about the pools. It's all about collateral pools. I really think collateral pools is going to be um, supercharged in terms of, you know, it's it's utility because. I mean, think about this. Think about how much money is sitting right now in these pools. So we know we have up to two million that can be minted, right? Um, we have up to two million that can be minted. Um, there is not two million that's minted. But look over here at the collateral, right? You've got you've got two point nine two million in collateral um, sitting there in that in those collateral pools. Uh, you know, look at the collateralizations over collateralized by almost 1900 percent. I really believe there is opportunities to further utilize this collateral. You know, you've got to leave quite a bit in there, obviously, for, you know, price shocks on XRP shooting to the moon and stuff like that. But I really feel like there's there's other utility for this and uh, and look forward to seeing what Flair does in terms of, you know, leveraging that utility. Um, giving us opportunities to earn more rewards. But but the reality is that, guys, and I'll say this again, you know, we have SGB sitting in our wallets right now. We can come to these collateral pools. They're risky. We could lose our SGB, buyer beware. Uh, but if we choose to participate, we know now that it's about probably about 9% annually uh, for an APY right now. And, of course, that number will fluctuate. It will probably go up. It will probably go down. But it's it's about nine percent in terms of yield right now that you're earning. If you if you contrast that with um, understanding, airdrops are rocking at about a thirty one point five seven percent right now for Flare. Uh, delegating to the FTSO, those are and staking are probably running around twelve to thirteen uh, percent as well, right? Just for delegating now, you've got the collateral pool aspect of it. Um, so you know. The inflation on Songbird, I think, is at seven or eight percent, if I'm not mistaken. Um, 
uh, yeah, my memory is losing me for a minute now. It's either five or seven or eight percent. But anyway, so you've got that natural inflation that's going to come off of Songbird for delegating to the FTSO. Um, pretty soon they'll be staking. And then, of course, now we have this we have this pool, <clears throat> these collateral pools that give you another nine percent. So, you know, just hypothetically, we've got Songbird. We're earning and again, it's either five, seven or eight percent for inflation uh, FTSO rewards. Um, you know, then we got another 9% or so. So that's another 14, that's almost 14, 15% interest that you're earning off of your songbird just from holding and participating in FTSO and participating in collateral pools. Um, you know, that's, you know, of course it's not, uh, you know, it's not 50%, but 15% is pretty good, uh, just for holding a token. And that's before we get to doing other things with it as well. There's more coming and I'm looking forward to that. Pretty excited about that. So anyway, that's uh, that's all I had, guys. I will uh, I'll tap out on here. And again, I appreciate you guys liking, subscribing and sharing uh, comments as well. Appreciate you. Thanks.